In today's video, you're going to learn how to build a header. If you watched yesterday, we uh, made jacks for headers um, for making door openings and window openings, yada yada. So today we're going to build the header that's actually going to fit inside the jack. And if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about building your own house and saving a ton of money. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. My name's Josh. Let's get this thing started. All right. So the first thing I do is look at my house plan, see how many headers I need to make and how long they need to be. And uh, just to give you an example of how to figure out how big your header's got to be as far as length goes. For example, this is for a 36 inch and a quarter window opening. So I already know that I'm going to have a, a 36 inch window a quarter to give it some uh, room to move um, when it's setting it. And then you're going to have an inch and a half on each side for the jack. So we come up with 39 and a quarter. So if you come over here, this is that inch and a half part that the jack's going to take up. So you have those on each side. That gives you a 36 and a quarter in the middle after you make it 39 and a quarter. So first thing I'm going to do is go through and cut up these two by 12s, which are going to be for the load bearing walls. That's uh, going to be a nice beefy header. Shouldn't uh, give you any problems, but you're going to have to look at your plans for your uh, house and see what size you need to make them. But these are two by 12s in this case. So first thing I'm going to do is go through and cut these up into pieces for whatever size header needs. So if it's 39 and a quarter, it's gonna take for uh, two of these, two ply for a two by four wall. So I'll cut this one 39 and a quarter and then cut another piece off of it 39 and a quarter. And then that will be enough for one header. So I'll show you how to do it. Okay, hey, that took a little bit of time, but uh, went through and cut all the header lengths that I'm gonna to need to build these headers. There's a bunch of different lengths here for different size doors and windows. But I got them all cut now. I got some scrap sheeting here. I'm gonna take this sheeting and cut it down to fit in between the uh, headers. So that's how you pad it out to get the two by four thickness to sit inside these jacks. So I'm gonna get started on that next. Okay, I got all of my filler strips ripped down to uh, fit between the uh, headers to make the header. All right, so we're gonna make a header out of these two two by 12s. So we're gonna look which side has a cup on it or not. A cup is where the board goes like this on the uh, side of the board. So you look here, you really can't tell in video, but it's slightly cupped up right here. So we're gonna lay that side down. So we're gonna put it down here. All right, so we got it laid down. Now we're gonna get some of that sheeting over here as a spacer. So we're gonna just lay that down next. All right, just try to lay it flush with the edge of that board we just laid down. Okay, and when you cut this uh, filler strip, just cut it a little bit shorter and thinner than the actual wood board you're using for a header. So that way you're not fighting with it sticking out of the edge. All right, same thing, look for your cup on this side. Okay, it looks like this side is one of the cups. We're gonna lay that on top of this. And you can see this is short, that OSB there, but I'm gonna show you what you do to make it easy. Anyway, so we'll lay this board on top of this one. All right, so we got that laid on top of the other board and sheeting so as you can see we've made kind of a sandwich now what you want to do just like the jacks make sure it's flush on the edge let me pull it over so you can see so if you look here just peck that flush to the edge that looks good and make sure one side is flush with the other and the reason why you can't get both sides flush because a lot of times these uh, boards will be thicker than the others like this might be 11 quarter and this one might be 11 and 3 8 11 and a half so you can't get both sides flush each other so anyways make sure that's square and this side's square as you can see it's laying really good square tack a nail all right and the same thing with the jack just go along this one edge make sure we're flush make sure the sheeting and the other board is flush with each other all right that looks pretty good so tack a nail there. OK, 
Okay, and what I'll do since I'm sorting down this thing, what I do since I'm going down this thing, I go ahead and nail it off as I go. That way it saves the air compressor some air. All right, so now we get to this edge. As you can see, we're not flush with each other, so we're gonna have to get that straight. Okay, a shortcut I was telling you to fill in the rest with this sheeting without measuring is get a piece and slot it in between here first. All right, so we slid that in to meet the other piece and you're gonna have this hanging over. Go ahead and make sure your edges are flush. Go ahead and nail the rest off. All right, when you have nails sticking up like this, sometimes they're gonna move faster than the nail gun can keep up. Go ahead and just hammer those in. All right, and that piece sticking over, go ahead and just cut that off with your saw. I got my little battery saw by Rigid here. All right, now that you got one side nailed off, you got to flip the header around and nail the other side off. Okay, so the nail pattern with these headers for them to be nailed off correctly, you got to nail each end with at least five nails on two by twelves. And then the pattern for the nails needs to be in a W shape. About five nails every run, about a foot apart, clear across the side of it. And you'll go through several nails doing this, but that's what you got to do. on the weight bearing walls now the interior walls just get two by four studs i'll show you those when i get to it but now i gotta clean up these tools and get them all in the truck locked up and everything and now this is where all the framing starts next week and i think i might be able to frame this garage up the next time i come back which will be probably friday so that will be the next video all right guys thanks for watching i hope you learned something or at least found something interesting and i'm kind of tired from all that laboring so uh I'll probably grab a protein shake and maybe hit the weights or something but uh then don't forget to hit the bell notification so that way you get alerted each time i release a new video all right see you in the next one peace